one third, and they're gonna shoot out the lasers, man, to destroy two thirds, and we need them. They remain in Babylon the Great. All right. So once again, in, in Isaiah 19, it said, "The Lord God upon a swift cloud." Matter of fact, you can write in the Revelation of God. Yeah, yep, yep. Revelation 1 and uh, verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. There you go. You see that? That's the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. It said he comes with clouds. Remember, Revelation means what? To reveal. So this was revealed to John how Yahweh Shah was going to come to deliver the elect, or how he was going to enter into the earth, man. All right? Behold, he coming with clouds, and every eye shall see him. See that? Why are they going to see him? Because he's going to be on the biggest fathership, the so-called UFO, that anyone is going to cover the whole earth. All right? It was an article. It was an article uh, the brother had brought out and said they had seen um, something coming to the earth. It was bigger than the earth. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we heard that, uh, that NASA. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was bigger than the Earth. Yeah, yeah, it was like yeah, a yeah. UFO bigger than us. Like they had to cut the live stream. I got it on my page. Yeah, yeah it was like two years ago, I think, four years. So just imagine, you know what I'm saying? The size of that ship. When you go up to uh, uh, Second Edges, uh, 11, I mean 13, it, it gives you how big it was. Did the creep book, how big, how wide it was. Like well, he said, uh, Edges said, it looked like he had. Grave uh, himself yeah. a great mountain. Yeah. But he said he would have been able to see where the mountain was cut out. Uh -huh. So it was even it was even greater than a mountain. And you know, just to extrapolate spiritually, the, the most high is all around us, man. Yeah. He's omniscient, he's omnipotent, yeah. right? Uh he's omnipresent. So I was uh thinking about that today how we basically are experiencing the manifestation of the Most High's mind. We are a manifestation, the earth and all creation is a manifestation of the Most High's mind. We came out of the Most High's mind. Man. When you think about the earth, the earth is just hanging at, in the air. It's just hanging in the air. Right? So, it's, it's space underneath it. It's space all around. It's nothing but space all around it. Right. And right. guess who controls that space that's all around it? That's why, you, so you, you try to grasp and fathom the idea of how can everybody on the planet see this chariot at one time? Because the Most High is in a different dimension. This, we are in his mind. You see what I'm saying? We came out of his mind. We are experiencing a manifest. We are experiencing the manifestation of the Most High's mind. So, the, the scriptures speak about the chariots being His throne, the fiery wheel. That's the throne. <laughs> the throne of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the heavens, where the Most High's domain is. It's, it's going to be easy. But when He just decides to to reveal Himself to the earth. He can reveal it to everybody on the planet at one time. Because he's so much bigger than him. You see what I'm saying? We like, because the Lord uh, used a comparison of scripture, said we like ants. We like ants in comparison to, you know, the most high. We're a small dust, a dust of the balance. We're a small dust of the balance. We, uh, matter of fact, get Isaiah 40. Yeah, the moon that you don't tie because once you get on the plane, and you get in the earth, yep. you look down, what, what people look like? Look like ants. They're like ants. So how much more the most? So how much more the most hot? Yeah. So you gotta think. Like whenever you see these comparisons in the scriptures, you gotta think about how ants look. Think about you as an ant. How would people look to you? How would builders look to you? How you know what I'm saying? If you like giant. You know? Uh -huh. <laughs> so when the Most High decides to reveal himself to this world, to this dimension, it ain't, you gotta, that's how you got to think. You know, JP talking about the earth flat. No, they don't understand. No, the, 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 the glory and the magnificence 
of the Most High and His Son. You know? That's why I wrote, that's why I was written in uh, Revelation with the brother Red. Every eye shall see him. All right, it ain't gonna be hard. The sun is, whatever well, I see the sun. That's why I say the sun is away from the earth. And we still out here sweat. Hard. You know what I'm saying? The sun, thousands of miles yeah. away from it. We feel it like it's right on this front of my yeah. top of And you can't even look at it. You try to look at it, you know? Yeah. So people not really understanding the magnitude or the power of the Most High. That's why when we preach these scriptures and we talk about the fear of the Lord, it, it go over their head because they ain't thinking deep enough, you know. And even it's not even about necessarily thinking deep. The simple things are hard to be understood for these people, man. Well, go ahead, bro. This is Isaiah 40, 15. Yeah, can I start 14? Yep. 13. <laughs> Isaiah 40 and 13. Who had directed the spirit of the Lord? Who had directed the spirit of the Lord? Go ahead. Or been his counselor had told him. Right, so who knows enough to give advice to the Lord? Yeah, yeah, I said being his counselor. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, we know that. We know the answer to that is nobody. Right, yeah. Because the angels <laughs> give the Lord to the Lord. The angels give the Lord to the Lord. Yep. You know? Ain't nobody the most highest counsel. So we're home. He got all the counsel. <laughs> I always say, uh, no one beside me. Yeah. yeah. You know? So it says 14, with who took me counsel and who instructed him and taught him in the path of judgment and taught him knowledge and showed to him the way of understanding? Nobody. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. Yep. In a Count it in the small dust of the balance. See, they, we, count it, we count it as a dust of the balance, man. We think about the most high can just take his hand and cover up the earth like this. Right. And smother her. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> he can just do the, you know, he can just the whole earth like that. Like, right. you know, the scriptures, when you go in the New Testament, when you go in the New Testament, they talk about a man uh, adding a cubit to his statue. Right. The most high can do that. Right. Yeah, if the chariots can shape shield men, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He say, say he uh, stretch out the, uh, the heaven like a curtain. Like a curtain. <laughs> hey. Like just think about it. you wake up in the morning, you pull the curtain back. Wow. That's how the Most High do this great space that they try to explore. Right. He just that's his curtain. He just <laughs> and they got to get on a shield man. Wow, put on wild. a suit man. Yeah, yeah. Try to you know. Put satellites up there to see the imagery up there. Yeah. And I got preached that he said something coming to earth. So like his hand coming His hand, his hand, he the most high can take his hands and cover up the whole earth. Right, bro. So this come to mind. Uh Job 34 wow. and 14 and 18. Then it say It said, if the most high were to take back his spirit and withdraw his breath, all life would cease. It'd be over with. Yeah. That's why I just said what I said. <laughs> We are experiencing the manifestation of the Most High's mind. Everything that exists is a manifestation of the Most High's mind. He spoke everything into existence. He didn't need no counsel. He didn't have to go to nobody and say, how do you think I should make man? How do you think I should make this earth? How do you think, how do you, with nobody here? Yeah, it was just him. Yep. And then when he spoke your house shot. And when he spoke your house yep. shot, he was the he was the uh the foreman. Meaning the creator. Look that word forming up in the etymology. Forming. Go uh, ahead, bro. So back in Job 34 and uh 14 again, in NLT. <coughs> if the most high were to take back his spirit and, and withdraw his breath, all life would cease and humanity would turn again to dust. Hey, they say, uh, they say he is a pure influence. He's the breath, you know. This uh, Psalms 33, you got the word forming. Yeah, uh, this is uh, forming in the Antimon online. It says a leader, uh, principal jury, principal workman. Principal workman. The word principal means first. Right, so the, the Most High is was the was was the 
was the first. He was the principal. He was the first leader that the Most High spoke to set up for uh, uh, his word of creation, to set creation up. Go ahead. What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? Alright, go ahead, bro. Hey, I wanted to make this ad for you. I started at four when you go. You know, the scripture says, you know how the most I said it there is, uh, it's like heaven is my throne, yeah. but the earth is his pushed Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Earth is his pushed You know what a push do? Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's imagine how, you know, how small we is compared to the Lord, man. You know? So when we think about when we think about the chariots, you know, the chariots are trying to imagine how the chariot's gonna be when the minute Papa saw. You know, and they like, they couldn't even see. You know what I'm saying? They like a mountain, clouds. We look at the clouds, look how big the clouds is. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And all this to demonstrate how the cherry look. And we understand you have a shot coming on the biggest one. Yeah, the You know, the fathership. Yeah, because uh, when you went into that word forming, it says uh, principal juror. Juror means judge. So the principal judge. Yeah. And we know Yahweh Shaka. Just talking about Yahweh Shaka coming on that little cloud, right? And what he coming to do? He coming to judge the earth. Yeah. You know? He coming to judge the earth. Isaiah 66 and 15. How he going to plead with our flesh? How he going to judge? By what? By fire. Yeah. And he chariot. Didn't I say the chariot? Yeah. He said the chariot like a whirlwind. So yeah. under his anger and his debris the flames of fire. Look at that, Judge 316. <laughs> <laughs> You know, then when Yahweh Shah come and do, he come to judge the earth, man. But uh, then Isaiah 19, it said, I swim. Something swims and something flies. It's quick. And the Lord always said, well, behold, I come free. Yeah, yeah. What, then? Oh, if, what's that, Zechariah? I will make a speedy witness upon them that build upon the land. Yeah. You see? He's going to be fast. He's going to be fast. He's going to destroy this place in one hour. Yeah. You know? Right, bro. So deliver their leg and destroy the wicked. And it's all about the luck at the end of the day. Uh, we better realize this. So we can't make them understand. Right. It ain't, it ain't you know? about everyone. You know, they try to get, you know, Jake Hopes up, you know, and, 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 and it ain't possible. You know, it's not possible, man. It's only for the elect. Like you just said, the bus said John 3.16. Yeah. That's talking about the elect. Yeah. Across the whole nation of Israel. What? Get that world within yourself. It's Israel. It's Israel, but yeah. it starts with the elect. You know? That's right. You got some time? Yeah. Oh, uh, we got that to go. Go to that song 30. Go to that song 33. Start it here. Right. Right. And this song 30. You said y'all remember that? Psalms 33 and 4. For the word of the Lord Yahweh is right, and all his works are done in truth. He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. So the mind has to be compatible to know what good is, what righteousness is. You say chip chip. You see? So <laughs> it's a lot of people, a lot of people living on the earth that don't know what the goodness of the Lord is, but it's full. The earth is full of the Lord's goodness, but people still walk around doing wickedness. Yeah. Yeah. Lord said his ways are not grievous. Yeah. You know, like it's like the hardest thing in the world in this age for people to do is to do the right thing, to do good. Go ahead. Hey, we can back up on that two times because when, when the Lord spoke to you to existence and Yahweh shot in the angels, which is the elect, they were you know, saying, uh, straight in the earth. They said, what? It was good. And it was done. It yeah. was good. Everything they, they said it, it was good. It was good. Everything was good. Everything was perfect. Exactly. How the heavenly father, what uh, created to be right, everything was good, everything was in a righteous balance, yeah. Man and woman, that was good. good, good. Now, this fucking society, man with man, that's not good. It's, it's, no, yeah. you got it said Psalms 33 and 6 by the word of the Lord, your house, what the heavens made, not a word, what the heavens made. With John 1, right? The heavens were made, the heavens were made for the Genesis 1. That word, like the brother just spoke about, uh, God in Genesis is Allah, which means the powers take glory. And the principle, right? The forming, like I went back, the principle, juror, judge, 
What's your house shot? Yeah. Okay? So there was a council in the heavens before anything was ever created. The Lord created his council. Mm -hmm. But the first one that he created was your house shot, which is the word. That's why we say the most high spoke your house shot into existence. Go ahead. He said, by the word of the Lord, Yahweh, were the heavens made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. All the hosts of them, the hosts of heaven, everything you see in the heaven, the sun, the moon, the stars, right? The earth is in the heavens, right? Because, like, we be talking about the heavens, but the earth is in the heavens. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? The heavens is all around us. But people don't be fathoming it. The heavens is all around us, man. That's why he say he separated. We go to the word heavens. It's Shemayim, meaning pertaining to the waters. He said I separated the waters from the waters. With the waters being within the waters. So the waters go into the elements. The way that we breathe, like, it, you're thinking about water, right? Like you go run the water in the tub, you drink water. Well, I'm, I'm splashing water right now. This is water. Yeah. This is water. He separated them waters from the waters if you go outside of the, this atmosphere. Yeah. That's another level. We can't, we can't function in that water. That's a separation. If you go into the waters in the ocean, oh, yeah. you, you can't function in that. That's yeah. separating the waters from the waters. We, the, the heavens is all around us. They say, we be pointing up like the most high up. The most high everywhere. Yeah. The air that we breathe in is his. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I know the earth is known as the first heaven. Then you got the second heaven, like the water is saying it, the firmament, and then the third heaven, which is what the, the heaven of the Father and the Son went to that, which is called the fourth dimension. Then the three heavens. And, and, and waters, I mean, uh, Jake, you know, I think he had a Dallas, he created water out of the earth. I'm not sure that all. Oh, yeah, I had that put that on my line. Right, I'm not sure. Because yeah, it's, it's, how you, it's how you put the elements together. Yeah, how you do. The, the, the physical form of water that we know, that we drink, we bathe in, is H2O. That's the elements. Hydrogen and oxygen. Two, two hydrogen molecules, one oxygen molecule. Yeah. And that's why uh, when you're speaking about in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to be able to, the elect, Lord willing, we don't spin, yeah, we're going to be able to manipulate the elements. Yeah. Because that's how we made, if, if we are the elect, we were in the beginning, we are how shot, that's what we did anyway. Yeah. Separating yeah. the waters from the waters, that's manipulating the elements. Yeah, yeah the elect, wait, some of the elect created clouds, created ants, created, you know, yeah. trees. That's why we get so angry, it's the fucking devil from flash out of the fucking ocean. Yeah. The water made it created it. Or, or destroying animals. You may create the cheetah. Yep. You may create the um the monkey. Yep. You know. I mean, and all those are worlds. Exactly. The, 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 I remember Elder Malcolm say that you got every creation on the planet Earth is a world. world. It's our own world. You got the monkey world, the elephant world, the giraffe world. You know. They say that on uh, when, you, when you watch uh, the animal uh, the animal channel like Animal Planet. That's what they say. This is the world of the lion. Yeah. They got their own world. The Lion King. Yeah. King. Yeah, yeah. That's right, bro. Boy, you can't bring that shit in the, in, into his world. Oh, hey, you don't like that. You can't go in no jungle and ain't go fuck around with, you know, the crocodiles. And, yeah. you know, then you go to zebras. No, they in their own world. This is what we do on land. You can't do this, yeah. you know. You know, you on in the sea. <laughs> you know? That's right, so bro. So just like in the troop, you can't bring that nigga culture inside in, in the world. You know? know? In Genesis, they say, when they said it was good. I had this uh, spirit jump on me concerning the Sabbath three times this week. Huh. And, uh, yeah, in the, in the, uh, I just did it with the creation. Yeah, you can, uh, that's 31. All right, this is Genesis 1, and verse 31. It says, And the Most High saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. Now let's look up that word good in the book. Right, and I want you to read into chapter 2, all the way down to verse uh, 
might be worth seven. But let's look, let's get that word right there, beautiful, right? Okay, it says toe, it says uh which is to walk. To walk, it it says word for, the Hebrew word for good is to walk. It says good, pleasant, agreeable, excellent, excellent. Excellent. When you, when you go into the scriptures, they speak about the excellency of Jacob, right? They say uh, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the, the, wicked, the wicked, wicked seduced him. Yeah. So everything was ex excellent, agreeable. Is it more? Um, it says valuable and estimate estimation. Understanding yeah. of man's intellectual nature. That was, that was good. That was good. Uh, strong definition. Strong. Strong definition says good in the in the widest sense. In the widest sense. In the widest sense. In the widest sense used likewise as a noun, both in a masculine and feminine, the singular and the plural. Good or good thing, a good man or woman, good uh, or good things, good men. Uh, it says beautiful, best, better, bountiful, cheerful, at ease. At ease. Things were at ease. It was easy. Men didn't even sweat from the brow. You know? Paradise. Keep on. It says fair. Fair word be in favor. Fine, glad, good. Graciously. Joyful. Kindly. Kindly. So that's what we talk about getting back into the good graces of the most high. But things are pleasant. There ain't no more pain, no more suffering. Ooh. Well, ain't everywhere right. you look, wickedness going on. Oh, there wasn't none of that going on. But the, the grace is the influence, the divine influence of the mind. Meaning, the Lord got to give you the understanding of his goodness. He just read the precept earlier. He said, the whole earth is filled with the Lord's goodness. Oh. So everything that the Lord made, nature tells us, uh, like for the trees and the animals and everything you see, you got men even worse than them. You know what I'm saying? You got, that's why I say uh, the basis of men, the Lord even gave the basis of men, and he called them a uh, brute beast. Meaning you really more than the beast of the field. Because they got more water than you. A dog uh, deal with another dog, you know. Right, you another, another, yeah, another male dog. dog. Yeah. <laughs> you know, hey, hey, get your ass out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But here it is, Esau, you know, they, they, they push that stuff, man. It's just like, damn, you lower than a, you lower than a damn dog, man. Yep. You can get that last part. Yep. This is, uh, yep. that's what I said, ask the ant, it's a tail beast, ask the beast, the, uh, the, um, the, uh, guns on the sky, I should tell you, you know, tell you uh, pretty much what the, the, the uh, desires is the top of the world, you know? Yep, it says most pleasant, pleasant, pleasing, pleasure, uh, precious prosperity, ready, sweet, wealth, welfare. Right, so the earth was in a prosperous state. Earth ain't in a prosperous state. You know, they talking about all this shit, global warming, right. all this uh, bullshit that uh, the uh, air quality. You know, you be getting air, and you look on your, uh, like on your uh, news update. You know, I, I know on my phone, it, 
they be giving you air quality warnings. Yeah, the air quality warnings. The air quality warnings today is fucked up. This shit just happened to my family. Be warned. Poor air quality today. And I'm like, come on, man. And it's all because everything is out of balance. You know, everything, everything to work in a balance to what I heard would be pleasant and prosperous to live on. You know, air, the air quality wouldn't be foul, you know? Yeah. Like, the air we breathe now is it's, it's polluted. It's the foul, man. It's polluted, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you, you can tell because when you go to some cities and states, different. You know, like I said, my first time, my first time going out of Memphis, when I first, when I first got into the truth, and when I, uh, when I went to Jackson, Mississippi, it was totally different. I'm like, damn, I can actually taste the her. Why? Because it was way different from Memphis. Memphis was way different from Mississippi. And her quality was high. Yeah, I was like, damn, smell different, feel different. I went there hot, like we in Memphis, I just clawed up, moving. You know what I'm saying? Mississippi, it didn't feel like that. Because it's a higher population here. Yeah. The cities you go into with the higher population, the, the worse the air quality, the worse the air quality. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. 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 There's more, more land out there in Mississippi. More, more, uh, more fields, uh, more trees. Right, right. Yeah. Right. The, the, the air going to be better. And, you know, too much of uh, much. Now you got it. Too much of uh, Tennessee out there, for instance. Hey, that air was it, good. It was different out there. That was good. Yeah. yeah. And just another thing too, wherever you live there, it's a lot of murders. Remember the scripture say blood defiled the land. Yeah. So it's a lot of murders here. You know? Wherever you go to murders high, that air quality is fucked up. They dump the water. And see the waters are also an air filtering system, man. Okay? And you're dumping bullshit in the ocean and in the water. Because what they talk about uh, condensation, you know what I'm saying, how the cycle of the, uh, the sun absorbs water, you know, and, and it go evaporates. So if it's bullshit in the water, that's being coming through the air, it's bullshit in the air. Your air, is, your air quality is fucked up. And you got to believe there's a lot of dead bodies in the Wolf River. Because the Wolf River went out the Mississippi River, right in North Memphis. Down here, got them in Mud Island, niggas be dumping bodies in there. I think somebody died, uh, fell off the boat. Nigga was standing on the bridge a couple days ago, I don't know if he jumped or not. Yeah, nah, I told you. One of my old co-workers, you know, he comes out his pocket seat on me. He jumped off the Mississippi River, just like, uh, three years ago. Yeah, like three years ago. It was on the news. You know what I'm saying? He thought that his wife was cheating. Right, jumped out the Mississippi River. Yeah. He fucking up there. Hey, one thing about it, that Mississippi River goes to Chicago all the way down. Hey, that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 When the wicked bear room, the people mourn. That's plain, man. The people ain't nobody uh, rejoicing right now, man. Like the folks were just saying that. The, the air all fucked up. You know, we're walking on concrete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ground fucked up. You know? Yeah, that's because of the, the yeah, everybody's suffering. That's because of the the, the, the wicked is in rulership, man. And he got he got to go, man. We just seen the horse in my pad. They mad. They mad as hell. Like the horse, the horse that said uh in England, and, uh, I want to say, well, uh, damn, the French, he bit the shit out of uh, Edomite. I am not want to hold a child of them being on Edomite, man. Uh, hey, hey my old woman, trying to take a picture here. Uh, show your ass out of here. Yeah, yeah. Get her ass, man. The, the animals look tired. Everything is tired, bro. We tired. Let's say they, they continually uh, 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 oppressing the saints, man. You know? You should wear out the saints. Yeah, they shall wear out the same for water, brother. Yeah, they wearing us out. That's why the Lord got to come back, man. We, we, we got to clean this shit up. And all the way uh, uh, the cleanse is going to come is through what? Fire. 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 You got it, brother. This is Jeremiah 8 and 7. Yeah, the scope in the heaven know a hard point of time. And the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time when they coming. They got order. Yeah, they know when the migraine. Yeah, they got order. 
And cause how, how you think the bird know to fly down south for the summer? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's in though, man. Okay. But my people know not to judge by the Lord. Woo. Like you were saying, uh, they, sat, they fly south for the winter. Yeah, yeah, for the winter. Uh, 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 so, yeah. They fly south for the winter time. Yeah. yeah. Cause it be colder on the north. Yeah. 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 Right. Now you brought that up cause you were like, you know, Jake is even worse than the animals out here, man. Yeah. You know? Cause without the laws of commandments, you really are a group beast. That's it. You know? So if you apply the laws of commandments in your life, you got order. Oh, uh, get Proverbs. Wisdom, wisdom killed a beast. Uh, nine. nine and one. And two. Proverbs. Uh, nine and verse one. It says, oh, uh, damn, I'm doing the same. Wisdom, invitation. Yeah. Okay. It says, open up with it. Invitation from the Lord. Damn, that's spirit. It's tough. It says, Proverbs nine and verse one it says, wisdom have built her house, she has hewn out her seven pillars. Yeah. She has killed her beast. She has killed her beast. Wisdom have killed her beast. You know? So wisdom is what takes you out of that beast and stays mine. Yeah. Right? Because remember, uh, there was a time where we were in a beast, but then he gave the breath of life. Yeah. That's in Genesis 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. he gave, he breathed, he breathed into us. Matter of fact, jump back there. He didn't breathe not knock with the breath of life. Yeah. Jump back there. Genesis. Now, 
when you go into the different translations, you do get the word Sunday, right? So I went into the history, I said, so what was the calendar they was keeping when so-called Jesus walked the earth? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Now we can get I don't know shit. But you wanna come ask me all these questions. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what you're talking about. Right. Long story short with them, and I'm gonna get into this topic. Oh, we didn't come here for this. <laughs> we didn't come here for this. Right. So now, Google what calendars were kept when Jesus walked the earth. See this this is what diligence come in. You study to show thyself a proof a workman who needed not to be ashamed. I didn't lose no sleep over them niggas. Right, the divine, you know. It's like the righteous are bones, you came to me. Right. <laughs> and I started to tell y'all ass, man, I ain't got time for that shit. Right. And, 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 and showing and showing you all. Right. But right. the spirit home me and said, you know what, listen, hear him out. Stop him out. And I listened to him for a little minute. Uh-uh, we didn't come here for this. Well, you think you came to me, but the Spirit sent you to me. There you go. There you go. Right? Yeah. It said the junior uh, calendar. What calendars were kept? Ah, uh, let me do it. His iPhone be lacking, man. <laughs> iPhone be lacking, man. <laughs> now, you see, I looked it up before, right? Yeah. What calendars were kept? When the Howard Shai was walking, he put, you know that's his true name, right? right. So, what did I keep on? Right there. Yeah, yeah. You got it? You found it? Yeah, 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 got it the junior account is correct, but that ain't all the calendars that they yeah. kept. Yeah, 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 it gives you all the information of what calendars were kept when Jesus walked the earth. Oh, it, it said the Julian calendar, the Roman calendar, the lunar solar calendar. The lunar solar calendar. Now go into the lunar solar calendar. Read this again. Read this again. Yeah. It said the Julian uh, calendar. The Julian calendar. Yeah. Now, now read it to the Julian calendar a little bit. The Julian calendar is one of the one of that was introduced in the year 46 BC by Julius Caesar. 46 BC by Julius Caesar. Who was Julius Caesar? Uh, speak up, brother. A Roman Edomite emperor. Yep. So why why would we go by that? Right. That ain't why would we go by that? Right? So Go ahead, because there's more than one calendar that was being kept in that time. Go ahead, bro. Keep on it. Then it say, uh, by Julius Caesar to all of the Roman Empire. Then it said the Roman calendar was beginning about sunrise, and the Jew Jewish calendar, the day began about sunset. So it said Jewish, but we know that's the Israelite. The Israelite calendar. The day begins when? It's sunset. The day begins when? Sunset. The day begins at sunset. sunset. So brother was having an issue trying to figure out how you call the Sabbath. If you go on this moon cycle site and it tell you that the new moon coming in on August the 4th, right? What you gotta look at to determine when to start the Sabbath? What you gotta look at? If you go on the calendar, right, on the moon, on the moon cycle calendar, which we don't get into it, go ahead, I'm going to show y'all, go ahead. Then they say, oh, the point okay, is, the point is, the day starts at what? Sunset. At evening. This, this day started yesterday. See the confusion? The day started yesterday. You didn't even make, did you hear what I said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This day started yesterday. 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 Yeah. In the middle. See the confusion? Yeah. Because you're living in a time where there's multiple calendars. Right. And they're not keeping the days according to the most highest time. 
Right. Their timing is not good. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. It said the lunar solar uh, calendar based on lunar months of 29 based days. Based on lunar months of 20. Now, when you go into the 1611, right, it, it'll show you how it's like 29 days, like 29 point some days every moon cycle. 29, 30, 29 and a half. 20, 30, yeah. 30. So, because the timing, the timing, right? Alright. Go ahead, bro. Hey, you know what I want you to do, bud. I want you to go on your phone, Google, look up new moon cycle for August. Look up the new moon cycle for August. And then I then I want you to go to the new moon cycle for July as well. Keep on, brother. Yeah, based on lunar month of 29 days alternating with 30 days, and the inter month uh is inter into calculated every three years based on the cycle of 19 years. So, who was keeping the lunar calendar? Who would tell you who was keeping the lunar calendar? It said the Hebrews. Who? Hebrews. Who? Hebrews. The Hebrews kept so. What nationality was the whole shot? Who they called Jesus Christ in He was a Hebrew. So, what calendar would he have been keeping? The lunar solar calendar. Why is it called lunar solar? Why is it called lunar solar? Yeah. Okay, but well why is it called? No, that's, that's not all of them. Lunar solar. The sun and the moon. So you can't just go based off the moon. You got to go off the sunset, sundown. Right, right. Because the sundown is when the sun... When the sun goes down, it's a new day. We coming into a new day right now. The sun finna go down. It's the day don't change at midnight. We live in a fucking confused ass society. Give me uh, Daniel 7 to 25. And you trying to explain to these confused ass people there's no such thing as fucking Sunday, Saturday, Friday, none of that shit. <laughs> you live in a made up world. That don't Monday, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday don't exist in the Lord's world. They don't keep time after the names of Babylonian gods and idols. Even when you go back to Exodus. Alright. Google. Google, look up <coughs> when were the when Rock were out. the days of the week named? Go ahead, hey, this is Daniel 7 and 25. It says, and he shall speak great words against the Mosai, and shall wear out the saints of the Mosai, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. Hey, so he got the power, he can do that. Julius, uh, let's say Julius Caesar. That's who the Julian calendar was named out though. You know? And then you had uh the Roman calendar. And you had the Hebrew calendar, which the Hebrews kept the Hebrew calendar. Right, right. And now we in the time of what calendar? What calendar are we keeping today? Huh? No, what calendar is the world of people today? The Gregorian calendar. Yeah. Right? And they are, and the Gregorian calendar go back to who? Look out it, just look out your see that's what you gotta do. See, I always talk about listening is a skill, asking questions is a skill. That the Holy Spirit will put on you, oh let me ask this question. Because a lot of times it's just about how you ask a question and you'll get all the information you need right there. Go ahead, bro. What's the question that we ask? When was the days of the week named? When were the day, days of the week named, right? Go ahead. This is from the, um, the study.com. The ancient Babylonians named the days of the week. They named it after celestial bodies. What's the Babylon Now, I'm talking about for this time. Uh, the great when, when, I'm talking about the days of the week that we go by now. Oh, I got God. it out. I got it out. That took me to the world. Uh, 
Alright, so this is from uh this is from Google. When were the days of the of the week named? Emperor Constantine the Great of the Roman Empire officially adopted the seven-day week in 321 CE. 321 CE. So when did Yahweh Shah walk the earth? Long before that CE, right? CE mean the common, CE mean common era, right? Uh, it used to be BCE. Well, well, hold on, my bad. You got CE and BCE. So BCE mean before the common era. So the house I walked the earth before the common era. When we was in school, BC used to stand for before Christ. And AD stood for after the death. Okay? Down here in the Bible Belt, that's how we was taught. So CE is synonymous with AD. So they weren't using no Friday, Saturday, Sunday right. when your house shot walk the earth. So I don't give a fuck what translation you read. Yeah. If it says Sunday, that's a made up shit. Yeah. Because they're trying to equate the calendar that's being kept now with the calendar that was kept then. Right. But you can't do that. You can't do that. And yo, you had you had nations of people that kept time different. The Chinese New Year ain't the same as the American New Year. Because that's a whole nother culture. You see that? Yeah. That's what he's all trying to do. He's all trying to push that uh, around, around the world. Yeah. You know he's trying to put everybody on the same, the time, same time and make yeah. everybody one big conglomerate of wickedness and yeah. fucking confusion. Yeah. Even when you think about even when you think about the sundown, when you think about California, they sundown different from our sundown. Right. It might be already sundown in Memphis, but it's the sun still out. Yeah, it's about California. The sun still out. You know what I'm talking about? In New York. Yeah, it's, but it's, it's already sun down here. You know what I'm saying? So to speak. It's about two o'clock in Cali right now. Yeah. So it's different. Yep. Yeah. You got it, Yep. Yeah. So y'all see the conflicting. Mm -hmm. So what do we know about what we just? We know without a shadow of doubt, there's no way that they would have been keeping the Sabbath according to the Friday, Sunday, Saturday. Right. They, by those names, those names didn't exist. Just like Jesus didn't exist. The English language didn't exist. They weren't, they weren't keeping. So where are you getting this Friday sundown and Saturday sundown? Right? Because the seventh day of business, they say that the Sabbath is Saturday. He was trying to go into his point to prove to me that the Sabbath, the Sabbath is actually Saturday. No, you're wrong. Well, you guess what? This cycle, that's why I want you to look it up. Right? When does the new moon come in? And I want you to give me the day and the time for this month. August 4, 7 13 a.m. August 4, 7 13 a.m., right? When does the day start? When does a day start? It's up, sundown. So if it says the new moon came in at 7 13 tomorrow because august the fourth is tomorrow so 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 why would we keep the sabbath sunday sundown to monday sundown we we skip the day you see so you ask well it says it's on the fourth yeah but what time does it say everything got to be held into account now if you had a came in Tomorrow, in the p.m. hours, then we would have said it's Sunday sundown to Monday sundown. All right, now, just, just so we can be consistent, and I ain't making shit up, go to July. When did the new moon come in in July? July 17th. Nah, not no 17th. July 17th? The new moon. The new moon. The new moon. That's too close. That means we off. If it came in July 17th, that means we off. It should say July 5th. The new moon. Uh -huh. I knew it was so. The new moon so was off. The new moon for July 2024. July 5th. 
Yep. At what time? In the EPM. It's, it's military time. Yeah, it's pre-AM. No, nah, military time. It's like 3 a.m.? That's the full moon, bro. That's the moon. That's the full moon. I got you. Alright, so for July, it came in on the 5th yep. at 1557. So that's almost four. That's almost what? So, so 13 is one, 14 is two, 15 is three. And so 16, so it basically almost came in at four o'clock. So that's uh, a little bit before sundown. You see what I'm saying? July 5th was uh, Friday. Because that's when we, we coming out of Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. So around four o'clock, July 5th, is when the new moon came in. So you gotta take into account what time of the day it comes in. Right. So you will know uh, how to declare it. Right, right. How to declare it. You know? You went you wouldn't call that one on the fourth. You see what I'm saying? Because you would have lost more because the the day starts. You see what I'm saying? The day had already started. The day had already started. Half the day gone. So I just wanted to clear up that confusion for brothers that right. not understanding how you call the set. You got to use the, the moon and the sun because the time is for days. The sun is for days. Get, get, that, get that in the scripture. Said the, uh, the sun is for days. The moon is for months. Yeah, I got you. I got you. The sun goes the days. The time, you know, like, because you had something in the extra time called a sundown. So the time was uh, known by the position of the sun. You know? That's why we kept this uh, lunar solar count. Because you also got to look at the, uh, the sun, too. That's how you know when the sun is over with. So like when the Sabbath come in tonight, the Sabbath ends when the sun go down uh, tomorrow. Right. So you won't get your box when the sun go down. You, you, you ain't good timing. Right, right. You know? You ain't good timing. You still clean. But anyway, I just wanted to make sure brothers, you know, I got I got a piece of the clear up on that. Okay, cut. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I understand. <laughs> and this goes back to the Hebrew calendar, too. Because when you go going to exit the 12th chapter, the Lord told Moses this was going to start our year. This was going to kick the year off. All right? So this exit is 12, and I'm going to start at once. It said, The Lord Yahweh spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. You see that? This must be the beginning of the month. Meaning what? The beginning of the new year. It's different from the new year beginning and, and uh, the, the, uh, the solar, I mean, not the solar, but the Jubilee calendar. The new year is based on the Passover. Like, new year in the American standard is what? June, uh, January, the end of December. Everything dead. It's not a new year. You know? So it said, this month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. All right, and it says, "Spake unto, spake ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, in the tenth day of the month, you see that the tenth day of the month, they shall take them every man a lamb, according to the house of their father, a lamb of a house." But let me jump to uh to six. It says, and ye shall keep it until the 14th day, the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in what? The evening. Meaning what? Sundown. Uh -huh. See that? Sundown. 
So based on the American calendar, it's gonna go off sundown. Mm -hmm. His days are what? 12 o'clock at night. Instead of what sundown. That's why you got the three different calendars. The yeah. Julian calendar, the Roman calendar, and you got what? The lunar calendar. The Hebrews kept the lunar calendar based on what what the Lord had gave Moses and Aaron. Which would start out the what the, 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 the new year. You know, which is the Passover. You know? Uh, he got some. Right, go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna get this in Sirach first. Let me go to Genesis. This is uh, this is Sirach uh, 43 and, and 6. It says, He made the moon also to serve in her season right. for a declaration of time and a sign of the world. Go up. Start, uh, start right here. Four. Uh, four. Uh, four. Okay. All right. This is uh, Sirach 43 and verse 4. It says, A man blowing a furnace is in works of heat, but the sun burneth the mountains three times more, breathing out fiery vapors and sending forth bright beams, it, it dimmeth the eyes. Great is the Lord that made it, and at his commandment it runneth hastily. Verse 6, he made the moon also to serve the her season for a declaration of time and a sign of the world. From the moon is the sign of peace, a light that decreases in her perfection. Hey, so get uh, Psalms 81, right? Say it said the moon is the sign of feast. Yeah, right. Right. They brought out of Exodus. Yeah. The Passover. Yeah. You know, sundown, evening. Mm -hmm. uh, Psalm 81, 3. Alright. It says, Psalms 81 and 3. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon. Blow the nigga trumpet wind in the new moon. In the new moon. Go ahead. In the time appointed on our Solomon feast day. Right. So the new moon is what we was going by. Uh, because the new moon means a new month. Yeah. And when you read in Exodus, yeah. but you also uh, when you go to uh, Leviticus the twenty third chapter, it tell you in the first month, yeah. in the seventh month, yeah. in the tenth month. And this, and, you know, the months are numbered, you know, and then we did have uh, names for the month, you know, Hebrew names for the month as well. Like uh, the Passover is in the first month, which is the uh, Abil. I got to learn how to say it in Hebrew. But we go into scriptures here, and I think it tells you Abil or Abil. Yep. But that's it, though, man. That's how you keep time accurate. Okay, that's how you know when the Lord's Sabbath is. Right. According to the lunar solar calendar. That's the calendar that the Hebrews kept. Not no goddamn Gregorian calendar right. shit made up by Constantine. Right. Yeah, and Constantine was a jake. Yeah, yeah. Wicked ass niggas was uh, implementing yeah, that Roman shit okay. into uh, the Holy Scriptures, man. That's right. why you got Easter and shit, uh -huh. you know? pagan ass holidays and shit. All those names of the days of the week, that shit go back to Babylonian worship and idol gods. Uh-huh. Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. Yeah, yeah Sunday. Yeah. Sun worship. Yeah. Sun worship. Okay. Saturday. Uh, Saturday. Damn, but that in uh, That's in Ezekiel. Ezekiel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. Okay, I'm finished this. Yep. Yeah. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 40, I mean, uh, yeah, Ecclesiastes 43. And verse 7, it says, From the moon is the sign of peace, yep. the light that decreases in her perfection. The month is called after her name. The month is called after her name. New month, new moon. <laughs> the month is called after her name. Yep. New month, the new word moon. Month comes from the word moon. All right. It's so crazy how, how much more planet do you gotta make this? Right. It's so crazy how the woman used the word cycle. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's with the moon cycle. It is a cycle. Yeah, it's a moon cycle. Yeah. Every yeah. month. Yeah. Yeah, every month. Every That's month. right. Yep. Yeah. It says, it says, uh, increasing wonderfully in her changing, being an instrument of the armies above, shining in the firmament of heaven, a beauty of heaven, the glory of the stars, and ornament, giving light in the highest places of the Lord. That was, that was yeah. So come back to Genesis. Yep. Yeah, that's right there. Yeah, man. It's plain though. But hey, the scriptures say it's plain to the holy, but stumbling blocks and to the wicked. Yeah, everybody can't get it. This is Genesis 1 and 16. Let me see if I uh go up. Genesis 1 and verse 14, it says, And the Most High said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. That's it, and for days and years. Mm -hmm. Signs, seasons, days and years. That's what the sun and moon for. That's the Lord's clock. That's it. <laughs> Yeah. They, make, they, they make it so hard, man. Uh -huh. Like, you niggas so fucking simple. And you call yourself uh, scholars. Call you, like, bro, all you gotta do is look that shit up. And we're no Fridays, Sundowns. And we're no Fridays and Saturdays. We're no, that shit didn't exist. Yeah, because if it was, it would have said next Saturday. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, they're, following, they're following Friday. No, it said the 14th day. Like, the 10th day. What, 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 what was, what was the Hebrew word for right, so. Friday and Saturday, nigga? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, what's that Hebrew word? Yeah. Come on, Because you see where it goes back to, the Lord told Moses and Aaron, this is the new year. On the first day. On, on the, the first day. day. On the first month. day. Or the first month. At e on this day and this At month. Evening. Right. A certain time. A yeah, number, a number, number day. <laughs> Come on, man. In a certain month. Yeah. That's how it works. If you walk up in a coma, mm -hmm. you walk up stranded uh, on an island, right? If you like woke up in a coma, you by yourself, you ain't have nobody to ask what month, day, or year it was, you could at least know what part of the month you was in by looking at the moon. Because right. it's a full moon. I said, I don't know what time it is, but I know we're in the middle of the month. Uh -huh. I know we're in the second week or whatever yeah. month this is. Yeah, you, you, can start, though. you can start your own calendar, dog. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. You got the uh, the creases. Yeah. You got the creases in the moon. Right, so you can start your own. You can start your own. Right you, you can just be on the Lord's time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. So you see the creases, half moon. You know what it is. Yeah. The half of the month. You know what I'm saying? The moon increase that's, and decrease. That's, 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 that's power, man. Power. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's the universe is keeping the time. Yeah. So you woke up out of a coma. So we're stranded by yourself. Yeah. You can start keeping time yourself just according to the moon and the sun. Uh -huh. Who the fuck is Friday? Right. Who the fuck is Saturday? You don't know them, you're in a coma. Right. But you see the sun, I see it. <laughs> yeah, ain't no light in the moon. That's new moon. You know? Oh, you see that little, little, that little small piece? That's still on that little small yeah. light? Just came back from the new moon. Next week, yep. that's how I be. <laughs> and the moon, and the moon, it, 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 it does like the, uh, the Lord's uh, word. Supposed to be written if it, right it works left. right to left. Uh -huh. You know? Yeah. Right to left. If it, waxes, in, if yeah. it waxes this way, <laughs> and, then, and, then it, and, then it, and then it come back yeah. when it's full. So it waxes full. Right. And then it and then it wanes yeah. the same way. Because right. it'll be the, the waxing go this way. Yeah. Right? Then the waning come back. Oh, but it still go. Right to left. Uh -huh. So when you see the crescent moon with the light to the left, you know that's the end of the month. When you see the crescent moon with the crescent facing, right, right. but but the end of the crescent is facing left. That's the beginning of the month. That's just like that. You ain't even gotta have a fucking calendar. Like I said, you be on the island side. Yeah, full moon. All right. So this this the middle of the month. 
Yeah, what, what Jake gonna be doing, Jake gonna be studying for themselves. They nah, you know what I'm talking about? Jake, what they, they hear, and run with it. Yeah, that's basically what Jake do. But well, anyway, man, that's why I say, you know, get diligence. Yeah, you know, you, you know, like, we have to study, like, like the brother read the scripture earlier, the earth is uh, filled with the goodness of the Lord. We have to study the earth and the things in the earth and the things that the Lord created so that we can understand uh, his righteousness. That's what he said, man. You're supposed to look at, observe, and look at nature and see how things work. Yes. But the, 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 the fucking society has taught you a false way. Yeah. 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 And therefore, we come to the truth. You got to be cleansed from that, that, that way of thinking. Yeah. You know, Psalm, 9, Psalm 119. See, all that got to be wiped away, man. We have to work and come out like a newborn baby. We got to learn all over again. You know? Yeah, nigga said uh, the, the new moon is the full moon. Well, well damn, nigga. So when a baby born, is it born grown? Right, grown? Is it born grown, nigga? <laughs> the word full, the word uh, the word full means perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's already dead, dead. <laughs> is it is perfect? Yeah. Yeah. And it's height. Of course, it's height. Take trip. <laughs> yeah. Can so we keep going? That was really important. Yeah, that was it on that. Yeah, I just want to touch on that, like I said, too, because, you know, I know the spirit was on me, and then you called me the same day, where And both said, you know, but look, man, look, the apostles been teaching us for years, man. Yeah. And, like, if you ever see something and it don't sit well, like, you know, you have to think like the apostles been doing this for years, right? Man. You know, you say, well, why is it called on this day or, or, or on that day? Well, you ain't, you ain't, you missing something. You missing something. Yeah. And like certain brothers don't question because they know the apostles on point with it. But like, because I, I remember when I was looking at it, I'm like, well, how they call it? Then I started looking at the time. I said, oh, that's how they call it. They call it according to what time it come in. See? Because depending on where you at, the, uh, the new moon can come in at a different time. Like, everybody on the earth not in the new moon. See what I'm saying? Everybody on the whole earth not in the, the moon is uh, on, the, on the other side of the planet. Because it's like everybody on the earth not at the same time. Yeah, we just saying that. About folks in Cali. Yeah. It's like clock. Yeah, like they three hours uh, behind us. Behind. We three hours ahead of them. Yeah. So you in a different place on the earth, the time is different. In New York is an hour uh, behind us. Uh, now they're an hour, 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 hour ahead of us. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. New York, Atlanta, all that east that's yeah. all yeah. East, yeah. East, East, East standard East time. Yeah. You know, we central, then you got uh, Mountain Pacific, uh -huh. and then you got Pacific. Because that's what counted, they on Pacific time. That's what right. different. Matter of fact, so if it's five o'clock here, it means three o'clock here. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Hey, this is uh, this is Isaiah 29 and 16. It says, "Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay." Who, who, who turned their things upside down? He. Who did that, right? He. We just read in uh, Daniel 7 to 25. Yeah. You know, the earth was given to the hand of the wicked, but he had power to change time and law. You know? That's who did it. Yep. But, but like the Lord said, sure the thing turned upside down, mm -hmm. what's gonna happen? And also say in Romans, well, who changed the truth into a liar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It says, for uh, yeah, for shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. Yeah. Or shall the thing frame say of him that framed it, he had no understanding. Yeah, so they'll go into, you know, they'll go to the times and try to set up calendars according to they understand it, like uh -huh. the most high didn't make the keeping of times right. right. He, he is time. What you mean? Right. He ain't got no choice but to be on his time. That's it. Right. Don't give a fuck what you make up. Yeah. 
You just gonna be on his time when it's all said. But, and done. but look, it makes sense though. It makes sense if the new day start and oh, yeah. when the sun go down. How the fuck a new day gonna start at 12 o'clock? You go to sleep, you gonna sleep when the sun go down. That way you rest it. Right. You wake up, rest it to work for your work day. You know what I'm saying? And like I noticed too, and I was studying it. Like if you go, if you, if you uh if you sleep with the uh with the sun, you you get better rest. Like if you like if you if you go actually start going to sleep when the sun go down and waking up when the sun come up, right. your body be like you be feeling healed. You be, you have more energy. Mm. That, that's a fact. That's a fact. Because yeah. I, I was out, you know, you know, Nashville trip, right? right. And I didn't get up early in the morning. Yeah. Got, man, it was beautiful waking up. Yeah. You know, when the sun get up, I pretty much had my uh, blinds open. Yeah, so the side, sun wake you up. The sun smack me in my face. I knew what time it was. Yeah. All the magic knew what time yeah. it was. That's nature's alarm clock. When we was in Paris. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 When the sun came up, you hear you know, you know, the birds chirping. Man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's creatures that make sounds when the sun go down. Yeah. It's, it's creatures that make sounds when the sun come up. That's nature. Because the, the, the sound that they make uh, at night time is like the crickets and the locusts. Frogs. Yeah. frogs. yeah, especially if you're in the country. Hey, uh, you hear frogs. Uh, uh, frogs is you don't hear the frogs too much in the city. Yeah, nah. But you still hear those crickets and locusts yeah. and shit. Yeah. You remember when you had Cicadas. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, the uh, solar uh, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, uh, eclipse yeah, in Nashville. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When, so when they got nowhere to start getting down. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yup. Uh-huh. Yup. Give me a time to take your ass to sleep. Cause they actually start doing it before it get completely dark. Oh, yeah, right. So at the time they knew like, all right, let's go and wrap up, get ready for bed, right. get a lantern, you know, get because you might have to get up in the middle of the night for something. You know? Uh-huh. Hey, and they wonder how the hell we gonna make it when this motherfucker shut down. Through the wisdom, man. Yeah. How we gonna survive off the grid? Through the wisdom, man. Right, we still depending on the fucking calendar and the, the stores and the Man, listen, man. We gonna depend on the wisdom of the hard washing house shots. Right. Which come from what? Come from the word. No. Uh, so. Uh, <laughs> All right. Hey. So with that, Lord willing, this is edifying. We're gonna turn toward Jesus. The Lord prays on the Lord too. The hollow of our shim yahweh shot by shim of our kadosh. I give double honors to the elders and apostles that give me the salutation and blessings to the army around the world. Preaching the truth, you can't the